guys, it's Regina, and today's video is about cellulite, because I have it. And I'm pretty sure you do too, which is probably why you're watching this video. In a sense, I would say that my body is pretty deceiving, so for all of you that especially haven't met me in real life, I have a very skinny upper body, like just pretty frail. Honestly, even people that know me in real life, because I'm also really tall, they just assume like my whole body is this one stick, but no. I have fat. It just happens that for whatever reason, all of my weight goes to my thighs and butt. I did not achieve it by like squatting, channeling my inner Tammy Hembro or Kathy Elise Henry. And no, I did not go under the knife. Like, what's the problem? So see, when it's not, you know, gained, no pun, or, you know, constructed by a surgeon, in order to achieve thickness naturally, thickness is literal fat. When there is a lot of fat in one area, that results in cellulite, which is what I have. How do I describe this? Like, so this is how like cellulite is formed. Let me like go to my computer real quick. Skin with without cellulite, and then skin with cellulite. It like it's like when your fat cells are like expanded essentially and then that's the appearance it gives your skin. Oh god, hopefully in post I can edit this to sound slightly more educated. <laughs> so let's get into the silhouette. So the silhouette essentially an at-home body contouring and cellulite reduction device. So how this works, you get the silhouette and the slider gel. The next few scenes, I don't really know how I'm gonna chop of this video, but I have tried this about four times. I filmed the first time I did it. The This video might not appear to be safe for work, so if you're watching this, you know, I'll give you a place to skip. Okay, I'm gonna put it there. This is so weird. <laughs> okay, it's not that bad. It's on low. Um, it's just like not even that warm so yeah okay the robe ugh, don't mind I have like a series of robes that just didn't work the robe was getting the way so I switched to a towel so yeah doing this definitely <laughs> takes a lot of time I mean I'll get into a routine I'm sure but damn the way to achieve results with this device is to follow a schedule like have a proper regime you're supposed to use it twice a week no more than twice a week and each targeted area takes about 10 to 15 minutes. When I first heard this, I was pretty annoyed. I wasn't necessarily annoyed. I was like, oh man, like, how am I gonna commit to this? And also, if I'm gonna spend like probably an hour on all the targeted areas, like my thighs and my butt, I could realistically just go to the gym for an hour. My thing is, if I do a whole bunch of cardio and you know, I lose all this weight in my legs, I could still potentially have the saggy skin from the prior dimpling and this is designed to tighten and like rejuvenate your skin. Burning my fat by doing squats is only going to increase my chance for my thighs to get bigger and I don't want them to get bigger so I feel like this, I mean don't get me wrong like I'm still going to go to the gym and whatnot but I'm going to also, I'm definitely incorporating this into my you know lifestyle whatever and it takes about 10 weeks to see the results. I'm gonna post a video like the second week of January to update you on how it looks and hopefully it's good. The biggest mistakes I made was, um, I was, I'm so cheap. I would use like a tiny bit of gel and even when it was running out, I would still just be like almost getting carpal tunnel going over the same spot and just, just don't cheap out. Use as much gel as you need. You can order more on the website. It's just not worth getting the carpal tunnel because for the long, like the first two sessions, I was like, my hand was cramping. So what I recommend is applying the gel onto the device, doing it halfway, and then halfway through stopping, adding more gel going on. Probably like the second time I caved and I had to put more gel on, it's sliding all over the place, it's easy, it's great, and then my timer goes off. I had like about a minute left, so try to space it out. There's, no matter what, you're gonna cave and put on more gel, so at least do it halfway through to make your life a bit easier. If you have to order more gel, you have to order more gel. So my final thoughts on this product, uh, I'm liking it so far, I'm getting a hang of it. I just kind of need to work on, just because I use it for an hour at a time, I need to just find a way to get myself more comfortable. If you have any questions or you've used this product, comment below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, it helps me out so much. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. It feels great.
motherfucker, yeah. 